Hi, I'm Tay, head butcher of Meat Crafters. I've been over in the industry for 20 years. Today, I'm going to show you how to choose the right cut of meat in the butchery. What we have here, this is a tenderloin. It's so called the leanest but the priciest. This exercise, they hide in the middle of the spine, which is very soft and tender, but there isn't much flavor from it. This is strip loin from the second half of the carcass, lower half. Tender, but to my opinion, not as flavorful as the ribeye. The ribeye is from the upper half of the carcass, which gives it more flavor. Okay, usually when you guys walk into a butchery, you usually see MB2, MB3, MB4. Those are actually marble score from the stick itself. The higher the marbling, the number suggested more fat. The higher the grading, the more expensive it is. Look for marbling like snowflakes, not that type of note. Large thick white lines in between, those are not actually a good sign. Yeah, look for snowflakes, very tiny snowflakes. That will tell you it's good marbling. The more marbling it is, the fattier it is. So it makes it more flavorful, more creamy. Keep a lookout for bright colors but not dark red because it tends to be too stressed when it was being slaughtered. They will cause the texture of the meat to be tougher. Thickness is pretty subjective. So, personal preference, one inch cut. It cooks perfectly fine. One and a half minutes, one side, never goes wrong. A good piece of steak usually is salt, pepper, and just good grilling, that's all. No other added stuff is, should be needed. For a consumer mindset, trip loin, ribeye, chandler loins are always better. These are always the forgotten ones. They are equally flavorful but cheaper to have them. In general, if everyone treat them like a ribeye or a strip loin, I believe the prices of strip loin and ribeye will go up so high because these are equally good.